So let's uh, put your palms facing up in a Gyan Mudra. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, close your eyes. Another deep breath in. When you deep breathe in, when you breathe in, bring in positive energy, positive thoughts. And when you breathe out, breathe out negative energy, neg negative thoughts, and thoughts that don't serve you at this moment. Take a deep breath in again. Breathe out and relax your body. With the next breath in, we will uh, chant OM three times. So take a deep breath in. Oh. Breathe in again. Uh, again uh, Bring your palms in front of your chest and Hala Chakra <clears throat> and we'll say a prayer. Guru Ra Brahma, Guru Ra Vishnu, Guru Ra Devo Maheshwara, Guru Ra Sakta Para Brahma, Tasme Sri Guru Ve Namaha. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Now rub your palms. Generate energy. <clears throat> Put it on your face, cover your arms, and spread the energy all over the body. <clears throat> Over two days, the practice intention is to bring mind and body and breath together. And we will go ahead and uh, start with some um, pranayama. The first one is uh, Surya Vedana. So Surya Vedana, we will be breathing in from right and breathing out from the left. So bring your first finger and thumb into Vishnu Mudra and your ring finger should be blocking your left nostril. And <clears throat> your right hand should be in a Gyan Mudra on your knee facing up. So let's start. So when you breathe in deeply, and then we'll do hold it for a count of five and then we breathe out. So let's start. Hold one, two, three, four, five, and breathe out from the left. Now count on your own. Let's continue doing that. Breathe in. Then you breathe out from the left, relax. <clears throat> Next, we will do a Kapal Brati. This uh, uh, version of Kapal Brati involves holding breath and applying all three bandhas. <clears throat> so if you have high blood pressure, please don't hold your breath, but do the pranayama gently. So Kapal Brati involves um, 
passive inhale and forceful exhale. So after um, several cut, breathe in and breathe out, we will put our hands on our, on our um, thighs, straighten them up, we will lean forward, and with a deep inhale, we will hold the breath and hold all three bandhas. And when you can no longer hold it, you relax. So let's start that. So passive inhale, forceful exhale. And when you do this uh, pranayama, only your diaphragm and stomach muscles should be moving. Rest of the body should be still. No shoulder moving, no head moving, nothing else. Just <clears throat> your stomach. So let's start that. Palm on your uh, uh, knees and start. Exhale and deep inhale. Lean forward, apply all three bandhas. And exhale and take a normal breath in. Keep your eyes closed. Feel the energy, the sensation, the vibration. What this does is brings uh, energy from your pelvis area and brings it up to the higher, higher level. So let's do the second round. Take it, yeah, breathe in and breathe out, normal breath, and then start. Exhale and take a deep breath in. Lean forward, apply all three bandha, muladhara, udyana, dhalandhara. And relax. We'll do a third round. This also oxygenates your blood and takes out carbon dioxide out of the uh, blood. Let's do another third round. Regular breath in and start. Exhale and take a deep breath in and apply all the bandhas. Come out, breathe out, keep your eyes closed. Again, feel the energy moving upwards, the sensations, the vibrations from the Asana. Take a couple regular breath. And open your eyes gently. <clears throat> and we'll do some uh, warm ups. So we'll start with the hand warm ups first. So arms in front of you, <clears throat> hands up. Exhale, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, inhale, up, down. Coordinate with your breath. Make sure your back is straight, your arms are straight, not bent anywhere. Now we'll do some wrist rotation. So 
bring your thumb inside your fist and do your rotations, coordinate with your breathing. Make sure your back is not leaning back or front. It should be straight up and reverse it. Now bring your hands behind your back in a cuff, uh, cuff position and we will do some shoulder rotation. <clears throat> so bring your elbows in front of you. It should be in level with your shoulder. So inhale in the front, exhale down, up. And when you go back, your back of the palm should be meeting. That gives you a better uh, a rotation. So exhale, inhale. Exhale up, inhale front. Exhale up, inhale front. Exhale up, inhale front. Exhale up, inhale front. Now we'll reverse it. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale, down, and relax. Now we'll do some um, arm exercises. So bring your arms in the T position to your body, palms facing up, bring them up. Make sure your arms are strong and raise them up over the head. And resist uh, uh, coming down again, bring them down, palms facing down. Feel the resistance. Up again, over the head, palm facing up. Make sure your body is straight and down. And down. Now we will bring your arms up and we will lean forward from the hip and take the torso down to the floor. Your body and arms should be moving at the same time. Go as far as you can. Take your uh, arms forward. Your hip should be, uh, your sit bone should be sitting on the floor. And if you can, put your head on the floor or your chin, your chest, or just go as far as you can. And hold it here for five breaths. One, two, three, four, five, and now walk to your right side. Keep your body down. So now your nose, your head is on your right knee and feel the stretch on your left side. One, Two, three, four, and five. Now inhale and walk in the center. Exhale and walk to the left side. And feel the stretch again on the right side. Your arms are all the way as far as they can go. And take five breaths here. One, two, three, four, and five. Inhale and walk to the center and slowly walk back up. <clears throat> now we'll do some side stretches. So bring your arms up and bring your right arm down, elbow down on the floor and your left arm over your ears and try to look at that shoulder. Feel the stretch on the left side. Your seat bone should be on the floor. One, two, three, four, and five. Come back, inhale and come up. Exhale and on the left side, left elbow on the floor, right arm over your right shoulder, uh, right ears and try to look at that shoulder. One, feel the stretch on your right side. 
two, three, four, and five. Come up, inhale and come up. Now we'll do a pelvis rotation. So your hands on your uh, knees. And when we do these rotations, bring your body as, far, as much as you can forward. And when you go to the sides, feel the stretch on the side. If you go on the right side, you feel the left side. And when you go on the left side, you feel the stretch on the left side. So let's inhale down to the right, exhale up, back to the left, inhale down, exhale up, right, back, left, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. And we'll reverse the uh, rotation. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, and relax. Now we'll do uh, neck exercises. So your arms should be resting on your thighs still and Bring your uh, neck in the neutral and inhale up gently, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Make sure your torso is straight, up, down, up, down, and bring your neck in neutral position and we'll do uh, side bend, side head bend to the side. So inhale, inhale in the central, exhale to the right. So your uh, ear is coming to your right shoulder. Inhale center, exhale left. Inhale center, exhale right. Feel the stretch on your left side when you bring your head to the right. Inhale center, exhale left. Make sure your torso is straight, not moving with the head. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Now bring your neck neutral again and we will do uh, side to side. Inhale in the center, exhale, left. So now you're looking over your right shoulder. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. You're looking at your left shoulder or your left shoulder. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale right, inhale center, exhale left, and come in neutral. Now we'll do neck rotation. So inhale down to the chest, to the right, back, exhale back, to the left, inhale down. Make biggest rotation circles possible. Inhale, ex exhale, to the right and back and down and we'll reverse it to the left. Exhale down, left, exhale down, left. Exhale down, left, and come neutral. <laughs> now come into Dandasana and we'll do some uh, toes and feet exercises. So your hands should be right next to your hips. Your uh, legs are straight, toes flexed. When you flex your toes towards you, make sure all the toes are spread, or sp uh, spread apart. So, Exhale, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now bring your feet all the way down and all the way in, inside, flex and extension, flex, extension, flex, extension. Flex, 
extension. Only your feet are moving, not your legs or, or your body. Flex, extension, flex and extension. Now let's do some ankle uh, rotations. Coordinate with your breathing. Again, only your ankles and feet are moving. And reverse it. Now, <clears throat> bend your knees and come on your elbows like that. And your palms are facing down under your buttocks. So you're, you're resting on your elbows, bring your knees up, your torso should be straight, and we'll do some bicycling. Biggest circles you can make. And your core should be uh, tight so that uh, your back doesn't hurt. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now let's reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now bring your feet down on the floor and up. Now we will do, um, actually come into the dasana again and bring your right foot <clears throat> or in your left hand and support your right knee with your uh, right hand. And we'll uh, cradle the baby. So bring your knee as close as you can and Move your hip right and left, right and left. Make sure your torso is straight and the left leg should be actively involved. Gently put that leg down and we'll do on the <coughs> left side. So the left foot is on the right arm and supported with the right hand, the knee supporting the right hand, bring it close to you as close as you can and go left to right. This is a hip opener and you, you can feel it in your hip, groin area, sit bones. and relax your foot on the floor. <clears throat> now bring your heels close to your perineum. Perine perine we'll do titliasan. Interlock your fingers and uh, cover your toes. And your elbows should be straight and bring your knees up towards your arms. Down, up. This is also a great heat opener. And now we'll flap the well, knees as fast as you can. And now bring it even closer into your groin. Your heel should be even closer and uh, <clears throat> make it, uh, hold your legs together and arms should be straight, body straight, and take a deep breath in and we'll hold the bandha. And at this time, you should focus your third eye or the forehead. So take a deep breath in, hold, keep your eyes closed, apply the bandha, and relax. We'll do one more time. Breathe in. Relax and we'll do one more time, still. Breathe in.
release, keep your eyes closed and feel the sensation, the energy, the vibration. Take a couple normal breaths. Now, bring your heels a little away from your um, groin area and put your elbows on your uh, knees and bring your butt forward. We bring your torso forward, try to touch your toes with your head. Go as far as you can. Your buttocks should be sitting on the floor. Your knees should be on the floor. And you're bending from your hip. Take a deep breath in and out a couple times. Breathe in and come up. <clears throat> now, Open your legs up. We'll do sitting uh, Konasana. <clears throat> bring your arms up, look up, and bring your hands on your legs or hold the big toes and bring your body forward as far as you can. You might be able to go all the way down to the ground. If not, just go as far as you can and hold it here. Feel the stretch on your lower back, inner thighs, your shoulders, your hamstring. Inhale and come up. And we'll do it one more time. Inhale, exhale, go down. Inhale and come up. Now bring your right hand on your left toes and left arm raised up toward the left and try to gaze at that arm. Feel the stretch on your right side and your left hand swing. Come up and we'll do it the other side. And one more time on each side. And to the right. And come in the center. Now, We'll do the Janu Sirsasana. So for that, come into Dandasana. Bring your right heel into the groin area. So your back is straight. Breathe in, look up, both arms up, and bend from your hip and bring your body over your left leg. Maybe you can touch uh, the toes, maybe your ankle, your thigh, whatever is your capacity. And you can bring your head down as far as you can. And we'll take a couple of breaths here. Inhale and come up. And we'll do it again for a little longer period. So inhale up, exhale down. This is very good for your uh, liver, kidney. It uh, stimulates your uh, brain. Improves digestion. 
inhale up. And we'll do Pariruta uh, Janu Sirsarsana. So bring your uh, right ha left hand face up, then ho hold of your to big toe, turn your body outward, and bring your right arm over your ears, and try to touch your left toe with your right hand. Go as uh, down as much as you can. You're breathing in and out here. At each exhale, you should be able to go down further more. Feel the stretch on your left side, on your uh, right side and left uh, hamstrings. Breathe in and slowly come up. And we'll do the same on the other side. So your right leg is uh, straight and left knee is in near the groin area, breathe in, look up. As you exhale, bend from your knee, bend from your hip, sorry. Bend your head to the knee. Breathe normal here. Inhale and come up, and we'll do it one more time. So inhale and exhale down, a little longer period of time. This time you exhale, you should be able to go down further even more. Relax your body while you're in the pose. Exhale up, inhale up, sorry, and exhale, relax. Now, bring your right <clears throat> hand palm up, get hold of your right toe and your left arm up, and bend down towards your right knee. So your left arm is over your ears, and you're trying to look at the ceiling. And you're trying to touch your right toe with your left Hand. Take cover, normal breath here and try to relax your body. Inhale and come up. Now we'll try to do uh, Kurmasana, the turtle pose. So for that, Spread your legs as far as you can. And bring your hands in the front and bring your body all the way down to the floor as far as you can. Now slowly bring your arms towards your legs. Bend your knees slightly and insert your arms under your knees. So your arms, both arms are under your knees, pointing outside towards the back. Your chest is on the floor and your legs are straight, actively involved. Relax your body while you're in the pose. Slowly bend your knees and take your arms out from underneath and bring your body up slowly. <clears throat> now we'll do Ardha Matsyanasana. Or the Basyendra Asana. So come into um, Dandasana again. Bring your right knee in and your left knee goes under your right hip and so the left um, knee is in front of you. Now bring your right 
heel or foot outside your left knee. So now that my uh, right knee is up, my right left arm will go up and right arm in the back and put my left elbow on my right knee and try to push it in. And my right arm is helping to support my body to be straight up. You can stay here, or if you have the capacity, you can grab hold of your right foot with your left arm and twist your body to the right. This is very good for your um, spleen, liver, pancreas, digestive system. This is very good to stress reliever. Come out the pose slowly and we will go into the other side. So this time the right knee will be in front of me. The left heel is on the back to the right heel is in the back of the left side and my left foot is in front of my right knee. And now by that left knee is up, my right left right arm will go up and the left arm in the back and try to bring the left knee in front by pushing with the left right elbow and look back, twist back. Again, if you have the capacity, you can grab hold of that uh, ankle and feel the twist on the right side, your all the abdominal organs. Breathe in and out. Make sure your torso is straight up. And gently come out, release the knee and bring your foot forward. Now from here, we'll do a uh, boat pose. So come into Dindasana, bend your knees. Your hands should be in uh, right next to your hips and bring your feet off the floor. <clears throat> bring your hands in uh, towards your uh, legs, your feet and straighten your legs slowly. So now you're just on your sitting bones. So your legs are straight, arms are trying to reach the toes, your torso is straight. This is really, uh, your core muscles are at work here. So make sure that you tighten your stomach, your um, uh, abdominal area. Breathe, keep breathing regularly. Stay in this pose as long as you can. Again, depending on your capacity, you may not be able to stay for long and someone, some people can stay for uh, up to two minutes. Slowly bring your feet down, your torso up in the front and relax. <clears throat> From here, we're going to try to do a crow pose. So for that, come on your feet. Bend your knees, hands in the front of your legs, your uh, thighs will re uh, rest on your forearms, your fingers should be spread apart and come on your toes, slowly try to, you should be looking forward, not down, so that you, uh, you, get, you have better balance if you do that. So try to come off the floor with your feet. And gently come down.
another pose I was going to, I'm going to try is uh, Titivasana, Firefly. So for that, sit into Malasana. And from here, you bring your arms behind your legs and rest them on the side of your legs. Your fingers should be spread apart. And again, on these two, we'll try to take the feet off the floor and balance on the uh, hands. So let's try that. And slowly try to straighten your legs. Some people can straighten up fully, but this is as far as I can, can go. This is firefly pose. And slowly bring it down. Shake your hands out. And now we'll try to, we'll do, uh, we have time to do a uh, um, pigeon pose. So come on your hand and knees. Bring your right knee in between your uh, uh, hands, your arms, and your left leg should be straight back. And your front knee should be in line with your uh, chest. And your both hands are in the, on the side of your knee. And look up. You should feel the stretch on your lower back, your hips on both legs. This is very good hip opener. Now from here, raise your arms up in prayer position. And now bring your hands back, your arms back, fold them, interlock the fingers, and bring them up. Slowly come out, and we'll do the same on the left side. So to come out, go into, let's go into mountain pose. Relax here. Let's take a couple uh, Ujjayi breath. Relax the body. Now bring your left knee between your arms, hands, and right leg should be straight back. Your toe, um, toe should be facing the, on the ground. You place your both hands in front of, uh, in between your, uh, your each side of your knee and look up. Now try to raise your both arms up into prayer and look up. Now slowly bring your arms in the back, interlock the fingers and press up. And relax and bring your hands on this side. Bring your leg back. Come into Rajas, Rajasana or Virasana. Open your knees apart. We'll go into child pose. Take a couple of relaxing breaths here. Breath in, deep breath in, deep breath out.
Walk slowly up. And uh, we'll do one more pose. Set Ubandasana. So let's come on our back. Your hands should be touching your heels. Slowly. Is your hip up. As far as high as you can. Walk your shoulders in. It gives you a little more up. Height. You can also place your hands on your lower pelvis to give you the deeper pose. This is very good for insomnia, people who have high blood pressure, for thyroid. This, but you can also try to come on your toes and raise your right foot up. And bring it down and raise your left foot up. Settle Bandhasana has lots of benefits. It stimulates your brain, helps with depression, fatigue. Now slowly to come out of the pose, bring your hands off your pelvis, walk your shoulders out and slowly one vertebra at a time. Bring your bed down and let's lay in Subhasana for a couple seconds. Relax your body. And come up, sitting position. Get it back, Sia Krishna. That was great. So, but so flexible. Yeah. I will go ahead and unmute mute myself. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It was it was great. A couple of a couple of asana. I think it's. I just saw it and it's. <laughs> <laughs> we'll very work great. on it. <laughs> yeah, we we are trying. You know. So we all are. Yep. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Dakshana. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Let's start with the. We'll, we'll do the standing asana. So let's sit down. Let's do the vinyasa side. Let's stand up here. Like let's go to the dandasana. Uh, one sec. Let me put myself on the. In the gallery view. Okay, that's great. Okay, let's go in the dandasana, and, and we we'll, we'll go from dandasana to the chaturanga dandasana. So make make your hands strong, like. Put your hands on side of your body. Hands are perpendicular to the floor here. You want to raise your body a little bit up and try. You know, I think we can we can get it a uh, little bit once at a time. And then raise your body. Then you can you can you can you can swing on your body and then go back to the chaturanga dandasana. Or walk back to the chaturanga dandasana. We can stay here for a few more seconds. Very good for core. Deeply inhale and exhale. And from here, just flex back over legs, thumbs, and then Urdu Urdu Mukhosanasana, upward facing dog. Enjoy the stretch here on the back. Then from here, let's go to the Adhamko Swanasana or downward facing dog. Now jump forward or go to the Uttanasana, B position. Then Uttanasana A, deeply exhale. And Urdu Asana and Samasiddhi. Okay, let's do the standing Asana. 
So maybe first one we can start with the Tadasan. So let's uh, stand in the Samasthiti position. Raise your hand up. Clap it kind of, clap upward. Raise the heels. Stretch up all the way as much as you can. Inhale deeply here. And as you exhale, go down. Let's do the same thing two more times. Inhale and try to stay on your fingers or thumbs. Fully stretched up. Enjoy. And exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, let's do some of the stretches on the hip movement while we are standing in, in while we are in standing position. So you might want to keep your leg about a couple of feet apart, two feet or something. Stretch your hand here. We'll try to trace the circle in the front. So you might want to go down on from the side here. Let's say I go, I'm going on the my right hand side, then go down all the way on the right side, twist it forward, go down on the front, exhale, and as you inhale, come up from the left hand side. Let's do the two more circles from right to left. And then let's do the other three more rotation on from left to right. Well, when you go down, dip exhale, and when you come up, inhale. Okay, let's do, let's walk on the word toes. And then heel. Okay, relax a little bit. We'll do Trikonasan after this, once everybody comes back. Let's, uh, let's move as much as you can, or as much, whatever your comfortable position. Now we will go on the right hand side. So raise your right hand and Twist it down here. So you're you are making triangles. Yeah. Let's stay for here for almost 10 seconds here. Good stretch. We are twisting on side. And slowly come up. Let's go on the other side. You want to move the left leg, uh, thumbs parallel to the mat. Raise the left hand and go down. Eight. Try to keep your body kind of straight and your hand which is up vertical and enjoy the stretch.
to uli ka mo. So let's do the Parivrata Tikkunasan. So in this case, we'll go on the left, right hand, right hand side and we'll touch our left hand. Raise the left hand and twist it and then left hand will go down and right hand will go up from the back. So we are twisting our spine. So we come. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So raise your right hand. Right hand will go to the left leg, and left leg, left hand will go up. Slowly come up. So in case if you can't stay that much, feel free to come up for everybody's capability, you know. And, but we can try to stay more so we can get more benefit of that. So that was uh, Trikonasana. Let, let's say we will do the Pasvakonasana now. So take a few deep breathe in and out. And when you are ready, uh, just let's let's go in the let's expand the legs and go make the go the hand parallel to the floor. Now bend from your right knee and right. It's like kind of like Surya. You know, the position we are getting is kind of Virbhadrasana position, but here we are we are turn, moving our hand back and other hand going straight to parallel to the body. So we are making, our body is making perfect line here. Try to get the hip as down as you can. So this will open up the hip joint and it's good stretch to whole body. Anytime you feel comfortable to come out, just come out from that position. Slowly come back to the position. Let's change the leg position. Let's go on the left hand side now. So this is like in a weird Badrasana position. And now we move the leg the hand back of the leg and then other hand goes parallel to the body. Here we are bending our knee and our thigh of the bent knee is parallel to the floor. So give the good stretch. And slowly come up here. Okay, let's take a few, few breath in and out. You want to move your hands, give some Blood circulation to your body. And next one, we'll get ready for the Ardha Chandrasana half moon position. So, if you have some kind of blocks or something, yoga block or something, you might want to get that one so that, or if you have a chair, you can use the chair also to support your your hand. So we can we can use any kind of like any props that can give us the position of the for asana so for this one we can use the block or we can use the chair to so for chair you just you but you this will help you to support your hand if you can't if you can't go down that much but at least have something that you can you can use it to support your body if you, if you can't go down that's like beginning position or you can have the block which is intermediate position kind of so so this uh, Chandrasana, we will, let's say I'm going on my, my uh, right hand side. So my block is on right hand side. So I, I bent my knee a little bit. I raise my left leg and I hold the block here. I straighten up my legs and hands and get to the Chandrasana position here. Half moon pose. 
and stretch the hand straight. Now you will gaze a little bit upward. Okay, slowly come back. So even though we do a little bit at a time, that's fine. We can next time we will we can improve a little bit more. And slowly we can get hold of the correct position. So let's do on the other side. I'm going to do on my left hand side now. So bend my knee, put the block here, all the block, and then come to the position, straighten up the knee. Okay. So now we can next once everybody gets a little bit breathe in and out, you breathe in and out deeply. We can do the we can do Uttan Has Pad Angustasna. One of the one of the positions we have done for a while. So here we are going to hold our leg and raise the leg, raise the leg here, right? So if you if you can't stand in the position, we can we can take the support of the chair or something. So we can hold the chair, still we can raise the leg and we can move a little bit. Or you can use the wall or any other or any other support. So that might give us a little bit more balance while we get to this position. So So here, let's hold the leg straight first. Then once we get the full balance here, we can try to move it to the, on the side. And you want to look at the other side of the. And once we are done, we can do on the other side. So let's uh, do this first. So both, I can see both the ducks are is doing very good. Great. Now we can do the uh, white leg forward bank position. So for that, we can open up our legs, let's uh, and then we'll bend forward, kind of hold our toes. So raise the hand and go down, hold the toes and try to get as down as much down as you can. Here. Enjoy the stretch in your all the legs muscles, kind of your back muscles and all. Make sure your knees are locked straight. Or you can we can go down here like we can we can put the hand in front of our body and then we can slowly go down. Our head goes down here and Make sure your knees are locked. So 
it slowly come off. Okay, now let's do a couple of uh, balancing position. We can do with Vadrasana 3 and then we can do with Vadrasana 4. So for with Vadrasana 3, we want to get on one leg and other body and other leg will be straight. So I think everybody, most of the people we are able to do this one. So let's start on one, put one side. Then you can go on others, other leg whenever you are ready. Okay, looks like everybody is back. Then we can do with Vidrasana 4 now. So for with Vidrasana 4, we will do go on one leg and then we'll hold the second leg from, <coughs> from back and then uh, we'll bend and stretch it. And let's do on the second side. Come Let's relax on the standing position for a few more seconds and we'll continue on the balancing pose into the uh, Raksasana and then Garudasana. So whenever you are ready, let's do the Vruksasana. So we can move our weight on one leg, make sure that leg is firmly grounded, fingers are spread. And then you can either put this hand, put the weight based on your stability, just raise the hand, other leg, and then raise the hand and put in the Namaskara position for upward salute position and try to stay in this position, balance. If you get enough, like focus, try to close the eyes also. And let me do the other side now. Stabilize and then
script here. Now we can move to the next one, which is uh, uh, Garudasana. So that's a similar position, but we'll, we'll lock the one leg in other one and then twist it and then bend it. So we can move the leg in front here and then twist and, and interlock the legs and then interlock the hands and stay in this kind of chair position. Let's go on the other leg. So slowly come out of that position. Deep. Relax for a few more seconds, here, 30 seconds. And we can do the sideways plank position first. Then we can change from that to the uh, Vasishtasana. So the easiest position, let's, yeah. let's sit on the side position here. And this is kind of easy position. I think everybody can get on this position easily. And if you want to do the side grip plank, if your hands are you want to straight, you are not that strong, kind of, then you can just raise your body. And this is one easiest. This one we can stay more and improve the stability. Or if you want to do. Uh, Kind of persistent, you can do the full sideways plank also, like this way here. And we can stay in this position also. This will give more strength from our hand. And finally, we can go hands up and then raise the leg also on the side. If you can't do that with the balance, then you can take support of the wall. You can do parallel to the wall also, so your body is supported. Just deeply inhale and exhale for a few more seconds. And slowly come down. And let's go on the other side. So here, uh, this this one everybody can do it. So this will give us uh, at least uh, try to do this one, you know. So you keep your body straight and just weight comes on one hand only. You can support it also if you if you can't stay stable here. Yep, that's great. Now we can go further more. You can you can go up to this position also and and make it make your body stable. Then you can raise the hand and raise the leg. And slowly come back. That gives us a lot of strength on the side of the muscles that we normally don't do. We do normal kind of like normal plank, but I think side plank is also equally important. So it, it makes our side muscles also stronger. Now we do the, we, can, we do the last standing position. That's the path 
Angustasana. So let's stand up and in Samasthiti position. Here we are trying to stand on one leg, I think, and then bend the other leg, bend it straight here. You can either hold it or you can keep it straight and you can put in Namaskar position and try to bend down as much as you can. So this gives you the lot more balance and twist and you can focus on one place and stay in this position. This, good is, this is kind of like one of the good balancing pose also. Pad Angustasana. Or this is also called as one leg squat position. And slowly come back. Let's do another leg now. So if you can't hold this one, you can hold it with the hand and then slow, slowly go down. Or this leg can stay as you bend down, it will support by itself. Other leg will support by itself. And the last little bit tougher position from that one is we can sit down and then do the same thing on one leg. We can try, let's say you, you sit down on one leg here and get hold of the other leg there and you can, you can come in the, like calm down your body, your thoughts, breathing, and then slowly balance out your position here and try to get to the You all can try. Let's... Let me do another leg now. This leg is tired a little bit. So it's also depending on how tired you are. Then it's very balancing position is very sensitive. If your legs are tired, you won't be able to. So we can try like this, uh, if you can stay here for a couple of seconds, two, three, five seconds, that's also good. It gives a lot of focus. Okay, I think that's uh, all the standing asana we are thinking about doing today. And let's go down the lay down stay, and then we'll do salvasana, lotus pose, and then we'll move on to the next one. So let's go on the tummy here. Just deeply inhale, exhale for a few more seconds in crocodile position. Now, move your hand straight, stretch your body. Your toes of the legs are flexed out. And then now, deeply inhale, and then you want to raise your hand and legs both together. Slowly come back. And relax for a few more seconds here. And we'll go with the half locus pose where we raise up one of our leg. So you move your hands under your body here. Twist. And raise this way, right leg up and support the right leg with the left leg and enjoy the stretch here and deeply inhale and exhale in this position
So next, you might want to grab the lead with your other hand and, and, and pull it up a little bit more. And slowly in this way. Take few breaths and then we'll do on the other leg. So now raise the left leg, support it with the right leg. And enjoy the stretch. Now hold the extended leg with the other hand and stretch it even further. So relax in the crocodile position for a few more seconds. Now we'll move our hand back again under the body and raise both the legs up. Sampurna, Salvasana, full locus pose. There's a force variation also of this one. So in this case, we will not put our hands under the body, but we will interlock the hands up behind the back and then raise the both the legs. So hands are interlocked, pulled up and raise the legs also. And stay until you can. For at least five, ten seconds. Slowly do this. And relax in the proper position. The next one we'll do the Bhujangasana. So we can start with the simple one where we keep our hands parallel to the our body near chest area and then raise our hand, raise our uh, body up from belly button onward and your hands are parallel to your body so it's not like you're not moving up, it's like parallel to the body and look up. So this is normally we do in Surya Namaskar every day. You can keep your eyes closed if you enjoy the and then enjoy the movement in your body. And slowly come down. Now, second variation of that one is we want to raise our body, but we want to raise our hand also. So our hands are also, so keep your hand parallel to it, parallel to the body here, and then raise the hand and raise the body also. It's very good for the back muscles. You will, you will feel the stretch. It's only come back. 
So that's those with the Bhujangasana. Let's let's do the Purva Bhujangasana where we are we we'll stretch our body fully upward. So we'll let's move over and parallel to very parallel to our chest and raise your body up, 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 and and lock your oh, your hand is straight. You are looking up. Slowly come back. And take some couple of more breaths here, couple of second breaths. Now we can move our hand parallel how we are watching the TV probably on our back, on our tummy here. So we can we can keep our hand parallel to our head and uh, oh, you can bend your heels also one by one and just flex it so you feel the stretch in your upper leg and stretch it both you know this is kind of we can do it before we go to the move pose. Tanurasana. So next we'll do the Tanurasana. So for that one we keep our leg bent here. We want to go down and let's do the simple Tanurasana. So you hold the left hand with the left heels and right with the right and then next inhalation raise your body up. Only your, your, your tummy is touching the floor and Try to pull as much up as you can, so you might feel the massage on your tummy. Enjoy that feeling here. You can close the eyes and then scan the body, see what body parts are doing what. And enjoy the, the kind of like consciousness moving around your body, where you feel your energy also moving with it. Slowly come out. And then I think that's the that's all position we can do here. We have for the back. So let's move on our back. So let's uh, let's go in Savasan position. So we will do first one, we will do the shoulder stand here. So if you can't do the shoulder stand, you can try a little bit more, little bit, you know, whatever position you can. So let's say from Savasan position, you want to raise your leg 90 degree up. So you can slowly raise it to 45 degree and hold that position, maybe 60 degree, 70 then go 90 degree. So for, to, to keep the stability here, you might want to put your hands under your uh, body and then put the stretch it out. So your hand will give a little bit support to your belly muscles here. So your tummy will not, those muscles will not be, have, have that much <laughs> compression. Now, now to go to this, so understand, we can go up and raise your body, support it from the hand, and then move it up a little bit. So your chest is touching the chin, and your legs are very straight. Your body is vertically up, and your, your, so your hand is supporting all your body.
this is very good immersion and i think with a little bit practice we all can be able to do this one but here make sure your most of the weight is coming on your shoulder and your hand support so you don't injure your back or your neck muscles or spine We can stay here for more, few more seconds, or maybe ten seconds more. And when you feel, you can come down slowly. Let's just slowly come down easily. So that was the inversion. So when we do the inversion, we don't want to. Raise your head up. So let's wait for about 30 seconds. Go in Savasana. Relax your body. Relax every part of your body. Next, we'll get our body ready for Halasana. And halasan is also uh, one of the inversion. But if we can't do halasana, we can get that at rhythmic exercise. So we can try to get our body ready for halasana. So let's, uh, let's stand up. Well, like not stand up, but let's go to the dandasana. Raise your body. And we'll do a little bit exercise here to make a move ourselves to the halasana. But if you can't do the full halasana, just just bring your leg up till the position where you can get to. So I'm not also good in this one, but we, we can always try. So raise your hand here and then go down and then just here. Just do this for a couple of cycles and next cycle we'll start raising your legs. So this gives a good, good massage to your back also. So you can keep doing this one also. And as you feel your good, then you can stay in the lesson position. Well, let's you can bend your knees. And Kulmatyasana kind of position also you can get your body close to your, your knees close to your ear. And from that one you can go to the Padmasana position. Slowly come down. And relax for about 20 seconds. So there are two more asanas I would like to cover before we go to the Matsyasana. So maybe we can do the, we have done the Sirsasana for a while <coughs> now. So we can try that one. And then we can try Mayurasana also we have done for a long time. So we can try that also. And both the asanas I think we can do with the support of help, support of wall or chair or any other position. We can try to get to the, uh, kind of a Sivasan position. So if you can't do the full Sivasan, we can do like, we can go in the, in the mountain pose, then we can go to the, we can put the head down. So let's try that one. So let's, let me, let me, let me show you what, 
we can do if we can't do the sirsasan. This is like very simple position. So we go down to the mountain pose here. We all do this one. Then from mountain pose, we can go, we can go down to the dolphin position here, like this one. This position here, right? So we can here we are not putting our, our weight on the head. We are just holding our weight on the on the hand only. So this is like this is good starting position. You can raise the leg. You can go closer to the wall here, and then then just support the wall and get the support of the wall here. You can try that one. That gives you a lot of kind of uh, inversion. Make sure you are not you you are not putting weight on your head. Your hand is always on the free. Your, your, your all the weight is coming from your shoulder and then hand. So so that's kind of like that that gives us kind of. Uh, you don't need to go all the way up. You can go like you can raise one leg only, so you are more stable here. Or you can go down here. You can you can start with the small smaller steps here, and then go to the. So that gives us a lot of inversion kind of. The body is totally upside down at that position. So I would I would like everybody can try a little, little bit, you know. So take take the support of the wall and see if you can. Like just do this much, you know. This this one we can do it easily, right? So if you do this one, that's also good, you know. We always do the the kind of this position, right? So here we are just putting the hand down. So we are bringing our head, lift it down. Then we are raising one leg. That's all, nothing more. And you can raise other leg also. See if you can do that. That gives us quite a bit of benefit. And let me try. Slowly come down. Once you come down, don't raise your head. Go in the balasana or child pose. So your head is down, your body is stabilizing, your heart rate is stabilizing at this point. So your blood circulation is getting normal. All the pressure being built up. Just give the time, like 30 seconds, to get it normal before you move your head up. So next one, once everybody, let me see, just take your time, don't cross it. It's important that we keep our head down. Okay, so once you are done with that one, we'll try the Mayurasan. So for Mayurasan also, if you can't raise your head or something, just use the blocks or any kind of pillow or chair or something. So you can, it's, it's mainly it's a plank position, that's what you want to get it first. So you can you can take the support of your of a chair or block, and you want to you want to support your body here, and just put your put your legs there. You know, so this one will give us position. Like like Mayurasan, Mayurasan we normally do like this way. This is how we do the Mayurasan. So you move your you you spread out your finger like hand like this one, and then you you put your all both the one under your chest and and straighten out the leg and face and then stay in this position so if you can't do this one you can put the block on the on your on your leg and face here so you don't go down 
main thing is to get to the plank position correctly. Then you will be able to. So maybe we can try like this one, you know, try like this. So your leg is supported, your face is supported also. Then see if you can, if you can move the, remove the blocks. So you come back. So with support, it's a, it's not that difficult, you know, because we can still get the balance of our body. Come on, Panthi, let's do it. Or so can support your leg. Yeah, make sure make sure your your hands are locked here and your fingers are spread out kind of so hands are locked here and then Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. We'll get there. Yeah, one day. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> good, good try. Okay, I think we can we are running out of time now. So let's go and let's do the last one, Matsyasana. So we can sit, we can go on our Savasan position and bring your hands under your body, raise your upper body. And move the head down or you can go to the Padmasana and do the same thing and let's we'll stay here for 20 seconds and then Bakul Bhai will put the young leader So next 10 seconds, let's get ready for the yoga You can turn off the lights. You need the blanket. Then go in Savasana position now. And relax totally. Relax all your body, every part of your body. Slow down here. Okay, Bakulwai. Yes, uh, make any final movements so your body can be completely still while the yoga nidra audio is being played. You guys can turn the lights down or you can cover yourself, just be 100% comfortable. And starting the yoga nidra in two seconds. Just make your body most comfortable. Wait, I'm going to share the audio, uh, otherwise it will not be heard clearly. Okay. Just make your body most comfortable. Just check if the body is there comfort. बधराने तमाम चाल बने इतनी वेला फिनिश कर दिए एंड जस्ट टेक एक डीप ब्रेथ एक उंडर श्वास एक उंडर श्वास लो और इन्हें छोड़ता छोड़ता धीमे थी आंखों बंद करो जस्ट क्लोज योर आईज वाइल एक्सेलिंग एक और गहरी सांस और उसे छोड़ते हुए धीरे से अपनी आंखें बंद करें जस्ट क्लोज योर आईज गुड श्वास की प्रक्रिया यानी जाते चाल से जस्ट बिकम मोर अवेयर ऑफ योर ब्रीथिंग
તમારું ધ્યાન શ્વાસના ચાલવા પર રાખો એક્સપિરિયન્સ કરો કે જયારે શ્વાસ અંદર આવી રહ્યો છે ત્યારે અને શ્વાસ જયારે બહાર જઈ રહ્યો છે ત્યારે શ્વાસની નળીઓમાં શું સેન્સ થાય છે શું ફીલ થાય છે જસ્ટ ઓબ્ઝર્વ જસ્ટ એક્સપિરિયન્સ બહાર નીકળતા દરેક શ્વાસ સાથે તમારું બોડી વધુ ને વધુ શાંત શિથિલ થતું જશે With each breath coming out, you will be experiencing deep relaxation. No specific unda keva shwas leva ne jirubna thi. Shwas ne kriya eni jate chalya kashe. We just have to experience it. Banne pagne bilkul dila chori to. Make sure that they are resting. Banne pag. બિલકુલ ઢીલા અનુભવ કરો કે બંને પગમાં અત્યારે તમને કેવા સેન્સેશન થઈ રહ્યા છે ફ્રોમ ટોસ ટુ યોર કાફ મસલ્સ ફ્રોમ કાફ મસલ્સ ટુ ની જોઈન્ટ્સ થાઈઝ હિપ્સ એવરીવેર જસ્ટ જસ્ટ બ્રિંગ યોર અવેરનેસ ઓવર દેર એન્ડ એક્સપિરિયન્સ What is going on? બહાર નીકળતા દરેક શ્વાસ સાથે તમારા બંને પગ વધુ ને વધુ રિલેક્સ થતા જશે જસ્ટ રિલેક્સ 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 પગમાં જે રિલેક્સેશન ના સેન્સેશન થઈ રહ્યા છે એનો અનુભવ જસ્ટ એક્સપિરિયન્સ good now bring your awareness on your stomach your back your chest and this middle part of your body pet pet chest at the mam bhag ma tamam dhyan lao and you will experience ke with each breath coming out you will be feeling more relaxation over there shwas ni gati sathe je pet ni chest ni je movement thati hoy e movement ne experience karo just experience this movements and pet pet ચેસ્ટ આ દરેક જગ્યાએ થઈ રહેલા રિલેક્સેશન ના સેન્સેશન ને અનુભવ કરો આ બધા જ પાર્ટ રિલેક્સ થઈ રહ્યા છે જસ્ટ રિલેક્સ 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 અબ આપણે દોનો હાથો કો બિલકુલ ઢીલા છોડ દે ઓર ઉને રિલેક્સ હોને દે દોનો હાથ બિલકુલ ઢીલે બિલકુલ Relax, relax, relax. Aapke dono pair, kamar, peet, chest, back, dono haath puri tarha se relax ho chuke hai. Ab apna dhyan apne chahre par le aaye. Gardan, gaal, hoot. નાક આંખે દોનો કાન એવરીવેર હર જગા પે રિલેક્સેશન કે સેન્સેશન ફેલ રહે હૈ જસ્ટ ઓબ્ઝર્વ જસ્ટ એક્સપિરિયન્સ 
सिर का ऊपर हिस्सा सब कुछ रिलैक्स हो रहा है शांत और शिथिल हो रहा है शांत और शिथिल हो रहा है शांत और शिथिल हो रहा है अब अपने पूरे शरीर का एक साथ अनुभव करें दोनों पैरों के तलुओं से लेकर फ्रॉम टोज टू टॉप ऑफ योर हेड सिर से पांव तक पूरा शरीर रिलैक्स्ड हो चुका है रिलैक्स 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 पूरे शरीर में शांति का एहसास शांति निरंतर शांति 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 इस वक्त आपका पूरा शरीर आराम की स्थिति में है ये शरीर की निद्रा है यह शरीर के हर हिस्से की हर पार्ट की निद्रा है मगर मन आपका आधा जागा हुआ है यू आर एंजॉइंग दिस स्लीप ऑफ योर बॉडी कॉन्शियसली और इसीलिए यह योग निद्रा है ये एक ऐसी योग क्रिया है जो हमारे शरीर और मन को भरपूर आराम देती है इस आराम का अनुभव करें हर होनहार इंसान हमेशा ही योग क्रियाओं का अभ्यास करता है आप भी कर रहे हैं इसी योग के कारण हर दिन हर पल आप अधिक से अधिक सकारात्मक होते जा रहे हैं लोगों के साथ आपके रिश्ते और स्वयं के साथ आपके रिश्ते हर दिन अच्छे होते जा रहे हैं आपके शरीर की हर कुशिका ईच एंड एवरी सेल ऑफ योर बॉडी इज वर्किंग परफेक्टली Each and every cell of your body is working perfectly and efficiently. इस वक्त आप योग निद्रा का अभ्यास कर रहे हैं हर दिन हर तरह से आप बेहतर बेहतर और बेहतर होते जा रहे हैं हर दिन हर तरह से आप बेहतर बेहतर और बेहतर होते जा रहे हैं Every day, in every way, you are getting better, better and better. अब कुछ ही समय में मैं एक से दस की गिनती करूंगा कुछ ही समय में मैं एक से दस की गिनती करूंगा जैसे जैसे दस तक जाऊंगा आप पूर्ण जागृत अवस्था की ओर आते जाएंगे भरपूर आराम के बाद एक दो धीरे धीरे बाहर आते जाएं तीन चार पांच जब मैं दस कहूंगा पूरी तरह से जागृत होंगे पहले के मुकाबले अधिक फ्रेश होंगे तरोताजा होंगे छ सात आठ नौ और दस Let's uh, raise both the hands about over the body and and rub the palms to each other. Generate heat. Place them over the eyes and face. And slowly open and close eyes a couple of times under the palms. Gently massage the eyelids. Spread the fingers all over the face. Slide the hands down over the face. and turn towards right side and stay on right side for few seconds 
Then with support of both the hands, the palms, very slowly bring the body back up to the sitting posture. Okay, hello everybody. So, um, before I will let Kirit Bhai do the cooling down and closing procedure, just a quick update. Um, I just had a follow-up appointment yesterday and everything looks good. So, I will be back next week. So, there is one more week that I am not allowed to do any kind of bending or stretching and those kind of things. So, you probably noticed that I will be just sitting there and my partner, my life partner was doing yoga for me. So, um, I'll be back in few days and until then we will have all these teachers will be rotating. So, it was great, great experience and I, I noticed that there are poses, sara sara poses, advanced poses, we have a lot of advanced poses, we have a lot of advanced poses, we have a lot of advanced poses. That's great. It was uh, excellent. Good job. Dakshavan and Kirit by both. You handled the session very well. It was wonderful. Excellent poses and instructions and session. So, that's it from me today. So, I will uh, I'll let Kirit by to unmute and continue with the cooling down and we have just only few minutes left. So, so, so let's do one at least cooling down pranayam anulong vilam. So, so put one hand in chin mudra and another one we can inhale from left and exhale from right alternate most and then uh, from right to left so let's do that for five six deep inhale exhale so Please, whenever you are done with the uh, exhalation from the left inside, let's start. Okay, so let's uh, do the Gayatri, sorry, the mantra three times, and then uh, we'll meditate for one sec, one minute, and then chant the Om, and then we'll do the closing prayer. So let's chant. Om Trambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvaitme Vandana Vrityur Mokshi Yamamruta Om Trambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Purvat me vandana vritya moksha yamamruta Om Trambakam yajamahe sugandhim pushti vadanam Purvat me vandana vritya moksha yamamruta
You can deeply inhale and chant Om now. Bring the hand to the Namaskar position and then bless me the closing prayer. Om Sana Om Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Yamaya Sarve Bhadrani Paschantu Ma Paschantu Kuvat Bhavi Om Shanti Shanti He rubs the hands and press. And then slowly open the eyes. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Nisha. Great. Okay, excellent. So people can unmute themselves. Thank you, Dakshaven. Very, very, Bakulbay. Thank you, everyone. Kirit Bhai, thank you. Daksha Ben, thank you. Daksha Ben, Kirit Bhai, thank you. Did very, very well.